think I got you in the afternoon now. First, let me give one disclaimer before I tell you who I am. I have no money. <laughs> Don't come back to my table and ask me if I can fund you. My director told me to leave you here. Do not bring you back to the department with me. So whatever Jewel told y'all before, see Jewel about the money. I just gave her some money so she has a little bit to share. Um, but anyway, I won't hold you long since I'm the last one. I am Layla Fitzgerald. I am Director of Community Programs for the Georgia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities. We shorten that for DBHCD. We talk in acronym world. I am here just to give you a little information about what it means to be a caring adult. Um, so I think, I don't even know how old I was. When I became a youth counselor, I realized that I was the one that everyone was going to run to to tell everything at a very young age. So I had to equip myself to be able to receive those individuals. Um, and at times it's hard. Um, at times it becomes a lot on the heart. But in all times I know that if they didn't have me, they wouldn't have anyone else. Um, being a big sister, a big cousin, um, an aunt, uh, a mother now of two, a 15-year-old and 17-year-old, um, so send prayers immediately. Um, <laughs> Uh, you realize how much they really need someone to tap into or somebody to tap into them or somebody to hold their hand or somebody to lead them the way. So I just want to give you three points today. Um, I was a unit director at Boys and Girls Clubs uh, back, I'm from Mississippi, shout out to Mississippi. Um, so back home I was a unit director for Boys and Girls Clubs and if you ever worked at an after school program at Boys and Girls Clubs, you know if you are Miss Layla in the club, you know everybody is running to a Miss Layla. There's a Miss Layla in everybody's world and everyone needs a Miss Layla. So when I walked in the doors, they were like, oh yeah, this a newbie. Oh yeah, I got you. So I, I came ready though. I came in my Jordans, I came in my, I had on some um, fatigue pants and I had on a white t-shirt. And they was like, where's your uniform? I said, I knew I had to come in here ready for war. Because what I'm dealing with in this community, you, you think that I'm soft because I have degrees and I come in suited and booted. So I had to come to your level to make you understand that I'm just as real as you are and I can be just as down as you can be in whatever scenario. So I want to just give you three points of being a very, very in tune caring adult. Three, three R's, um, not the R, you know where he is, but the three R's that really, really matter about being a caring adult um, to young people. Um, the first thing is being relatable. You don't have to get on, no, on their level to see their level, to see through their lens, to see through their perspective, but make sure that you are on a level enough to be able to carry them through whatever trial they are going through. Be relatable to them, meaning that, yeah, I came in with my Air Force Ones, but I still had to tell them there's a career life about me. There's a way that you have to change your people. Um, I tell people all the time, it's a lot of me's in here. It just depends on which me you get for the day, um, whether it's professional, whether it's a mother, where I'm out with my friends, um, or whether it's having to be that caring adult. Know when to pull on and off your mask for young people. Um, they really look for that person who is able to pull their mask off and be very real in what we consider naked with them. Um, being able to understand them on levels where um, most adults won't, you know. Um, I, somebody said on the stage, they feel old. I think it was Bond that said they feel old now. Once you hit your 40s to a young person, you're ancient. <laughs> you're not just old. You no longer understand us. You no longer see where we're coming from. You have no idea about this Instagram world. You have no idea about TikTok. Well, I had to tell them. Back in my day, we didn't have TikTok, but I could pop a few somethings that could get down with you, and I understand where you're coming from. I understand the needs you have because I've been there. So being able to relate to them, to say I was once a teenager, I once had a mom that didn't understand me. I didn't have a dad in my life, so I understand what it means to need that father role figure. I understand what it means to look at your brother as your dad. Um, so I had to be real relatable with them in order to be connected to when, with them. Because if you can't relate to them, they're gonna shut you out and shut you off. Second thing, being resourceful. If a young person is coming to your coattails, they need something. Whether it's an immediate need, whether it's housing, transportation, clothing, food, or whether it's just a soft need, a hug, just a listening ear. So I heard someone say, be ready to listen, not to respond. Always have your ear open and not ready to say, well, I told you and what I said before. Instead of saying, I hear you, I understand you. They gave me five minutes already. I understand you and I know where we're going. So first thing, relatable. Second thing, resourceful. But immediate resources are what they need first. 
Be able to change your resource to be their source, their light, their water, their air, their sun, whatever that may be for them in that moment, be able to be that there for them. Because they're going to come back to you if you're, you've been relatable and now you're resourceful. But if you can be those two, the last one is the most important one. Be reliable. Cheer them on. Keep them near and dear to your heart. Always be dear to them. They've had enough heartache, hurt, shut down, um, uh, abuse in sort of sense in their life where they don't need that again. They're looking for someone that can cheer them on and steer them the right way. So if I could ask you to do three things, it's be relatable, be resourceful, and be reliable. But in that, be willing to have an open mind and have the hard conversations. Because everybody needs that caring adult. Everybody has that favorite teacher that they remember in school, that favorite coach that always taught them well that they can go to and talk about anything. And when I say anything, they bring you anything. <laughs> so be ready to have that conversation, whether it's about sexuality, whether it's about spirituality, whether it's about my career, whether it's about my mother. But be able to have that conversation with them to be able to steer them back to having a conversation with their mother and not shutting her out or whomever that person was. Be intentional on making your space safe. Like always know that my space is safe. Whenever you come to me, whether I'm in a suit and boot or whether I'm in Jordans, you are able to come and talk to me and able to come to my table and sit because my table is not full unless it has a young person's voice at the table. Because we can't understand how to help young people if we don't understand young people or if we don't hear them. The only way that they can help each other is by being at the table to be part of those conversations, to be the change agent for their next peer. Um, last thing, your bond. Everybody know your bond, your word is your, bond. your word is your, bond. if you say it, do it. Yes. If you say it, be there. If you say it, provide it. Don't tell a young person you have something and can't bring it back to them. Cause now they're gonna see you as, she just talking, she not really a doer. You know what I'm saying, she fake. She just wanna showboat in front of her people to yeah. say that she's good people and she's not. Be intentional, your word is your bond, be willing to be open, but always remember to be relatable, resourceful, and reliable. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs>